Our focus remains on the national capital where parts of Delhi remain flooded in and it's day four where the Yamna water levels continue to decrease now but there's a record as far as the levels are concerned. It is still above the danger mark. It is still above and higher than the record that was set in 1978. Two of the three water treatment plants in Delhi still remain closed and water supply as well as power supply remains affected in flood hit areas of the national capital. Now, Delhi's busiest intersection, ITO, still remains flooded. The NDRF and army teams were uh, assisting the civil administration in relief activities as far as various parts of Delhi are concerned. Let's just get you a ground report of how bad it got on day three. As roads turn to rivers in the capital, the Delhi floods ironically have left people desperate for drinking water with three key water treatment plants shut after being totally inundated nearly one third of delhi is now facing a severe shortage of water supply people in badly hit yamuna bazaar are wading through 25 feet of sewer water infested with rats, insects and at times even snakes to get drinking water for their families trapped in submerged houses. People trapped there as well. Okay, so people there telling us they're trapped. They don't have food supplies and water supplies. Well, uh, most of the people we spoke to, they at least had some food supplies there, but most of them are without water supplies. <laughs> In these residential colonies, in low-lying areas of Delhi, NGOs are pitching in to give evacuated residents meals and drinking water. This, this particular colony is known as Khadda colony and that is literal because it's actually uh, sort of built inside a pit. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an encroachment on the flood plains. Now tell us that the water supply, 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 the water supply. The government says they're working on a war footing. All officers who are here, मोबिलाइज़ हैं, इरिगेशन फ्लड के हैं, जलबोर्ड के ऑफिसर्स हैं। मैंने बोला है कि एमसीडी के ऑफिसर्स भी यहाँ पे जल्दी पहुँचे और सब लोग अपने रिसोर्सेस मोबिलाइज़ करें और इसको हम रोक लेंगे। आज पानी थोड़ा सा नीचे गया, उसकी वजह से ओखला वाटर ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट चालू हो गया है। अभी अभी तो बाकी दोनों वाटर ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट फिर उसकी उसको ड्राई करके दोनों चालू हो जाएंगे। Hard breaking scenes unfolding in the national capital as water wreaks havoc in Delhi. For some, it's excess water on the streets. For others, it's a lack of drinking water to quench their thirst. In New Delhi with camera person Sudhish Sham and Pavan Kumar Vedant for Indi TV. And the other crisis is providing clean water to Delhi as especially uh, the three key water treatment plants have been shut after being totally inundated. And also this includes the Okla water plant that is open. Nearly one third of Delhi is now facing a severe shortage when it comes to water supply. We have my colleague Tanushri joining us uh, from the expressway that connects Delhi to Noida. Uh, Tanushri, get us a, a sense of uh, what it's like on the ground. Uh, is the traffic under control? It's very early uh, this morning. It's a Saturday. Uh, also, uh, you know, take us through the water levels in the Yamuna this morning. Well, fortunately enough, uh, the water level has definitely receded. The Yamuna right now, as we speak, is flowing at 207.62 meters, which is substantially low from what we have, what Delhi has witnessed for the last past three days. It went up to 238.65, which is approximately four meters more than the danger le level. Right now, st uh, still, the Yamuna is uh, has breached its danger mark. It's still flowing below, be be beyond its danger level, but has at least receded uh, till a point, whereas 
uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was also mentioning that this is a point where at least the two water treatment plants can be dried up and they can resume their work. So that's a relief uh, for the Delhiites that uh, all, both the Delhi, uh, water treatment plants in the national capital will resume work from today. So the water crisis which Delhi has been facing for the past two days will, uh, that uh, situation will come back to normalcy. And this is a river for the benefit of our viewers, I'll tell them, that this is a river which usually in Delhi uh, flows between 195 to 198 meters and on dry days it actually goes up to 190. So that's the kind of level we have seen. But in the past, uh, last Sunday it rose up to 203, then in the entire week uh, the maximum it has gone uh, was 208.65 and that's why uh, Delhi sort of witnessed an unprecedented situation, a never seen before situation at least in the recent history where uh, many parts in the national capital were totally inundated with Yamuna water. Yamuna was flowing, overflowing onto the streets and uh, you know many were also saying that it's sort of, the river was sort of reclaiming its course and all these were supposed to be, all the adjoining areas were supposed to be flood plains but uh, there is also human cost which my colleagues Priyanshi and Vedant have been uh, reporting on for the past three days that these people, many of them farmers who have been evacuated, thousands of them have been now living on the in relief camps on the streets and these people only tell us that it was they were forced to do it because they it's their livelihood they are farmers they are small uh, scale farmers and they have to live on the flood plains on uh, the river bank because most other areas have been taken uh, you know by either like big settlement big buildings or the rich people of in the national capital so that is the kind of uh, you know also kind of uh, class divide we see mostly in cities that mostly uh, you know the in, uh, in all the flood plains in the cities have been taken by big buildings and these are the only areas, uh, the river bank are the only areas where uh, the small scale farmers, the poor people so as to speak, uh, are forced to live. So now at least 16,500 people who were evacuated to safer locations are now living in relief camps. Many of them are also living on the streets with shortage of food and of course shortage of water. But uh, at least a relief that the Yamuna water has started to recede and we can only hope for the best from now on. Though a yellow alert has been issued uh, and IMD is saying that Delhi is going to witness not really intense rainfall but light showers to, to, today and tomorrow and that's why people have been asked to stay cautious especially the people living in the low-lying areas but the places which were inundated with Yamuna water still remains to be inundated uh, like ITO civil lines, Kashmiri gate uh, and all those uh, you know low-lying areas across that side are still inundated but the situation is only going to become normal from now on. We can safely say that because the Yamuna water has started to recede and there is no uh, incessant rainfall which is predicted for the national capital. So this is a good right. thing but what Delhi has witnessed in the past three days is definitely unprecedented. One can only hope that that we never get to see this situation again. Back to you. Right, uh, Tanushri, the worry is light to moderate showers are expected in the national capital today as well. And it's not just in the coming 24 hours, but over the next 48 hours. To get more on this, uh, we have uh, our guests uh, joining us. We have uh, Dr. K.J. Ramesh, uh, the former Director General of the IMD, as well as Professor Anil Gupta, uh, the HOD of the Policy Planning National Institute of Disaster Management, uh, joining us. Let me first take my first question to Professor Anil Gupta. Sir, if you could take us through how long will it take for the water to completely recede uh, from uh, Delhi? Uh, see, uh, they, the river water is already, uh, level is going down. Uh, but second aspect is that uh, the, the soil is already saturated a lot. So soil uh, do not have uh, now any more acceptance of water and evaporation will certainly take some time. Uh, the, 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 the additional efforts, uh, the, the mechanical and other means the, the earthwork that is being done to uh, the drained water and to uh, uh, provide water relief. So that is uh, there. It will take some time. But uh, what is currently equally important is the humanitarian uh, support because a lot of people have uh, become homeless. They have uh, they have been evacuated and they are here and there. The traffic is also in Chaos because uh, the, a lot of recovery work is also being done uh, on uh, many of the roads. So how to bring back the normalcy uh, that is important because uh, now although it is not a heavy rain uh, rainfall prediction but uh, the forecast is for uh, some rainfall but that additional uh, even a lesser additional rainfall can uh, create some problems so we have to be a little cautious 
uh, second thing now it is also an important that we should not forget this many times what happens that uh, when a disaster take place immediately we uh, we try to bring back normalcy whatever uh, uh, has gone and uh, has gone and then uh, we just come to the normal business and we forget about the incident actually that should not happen for delhi delhi is a strategically important uh, location it is also a business hub it is also a service hub it is also a, a political hub or a government hub so basically we will have to have a detailed introspection what went wrong because uh, it is not exactly. only one exactly so thing where wrong. did we go wrong that is a big question where did we go wrong yeah so it is not only one thing we went wrong we went wrong in several fronts uh second thing uh, here i would say the first thing that blaming the heavy rainfall or blaming the climate change would not serve the purpose because the cl- the climate change uh, is a reality and the such kind of heavy rainfall incidences can take place in future also we have to accept this blaming the release of water from a dam that will also not serve serve the purpose because these are the situations that may arise in the future also we have we will have to have better coordination in place well in advance and second thing uh, the the, the uh, uh, that is very important that disaster management and disaster response is as per the the regulation and constitution of india is the responsibility of the state government as the local administration so basically so do you think enough is how- being done in uh, you know in quick time do you think enough is being done as far as the government and the uh, disaster response uh, teams are concerned see in when it comes to response uh, in, in india's experience is good uh though, though some blame game and other things goes on but uh, the central government uh, and authorities many times take uh, the uh, anticipatory and very prompt steps uh, despite of whether it is any state government or any other uh, local authority because it is our national uh, uh, this the focus that there should not be any casualty there is there should not be any uh, uh, significant losses to the people unfortunately uh, so three uh, three uh, children have so, died while swimming yeah. uh, yesterday uh, let me also bring in dr kj ramesh uh, sir uh, if you could take us through you know the worry continues because it's uh, uh, you know as far as the weather forecast uh, goes it says that it's going to rain and moderate rain is expected between today and tomorrow when we talk about moderate rain sir what kind of rainfall are we talking about it is up to 5 uh, cm uh, in 24 hours so that five, uh, sir, sir that's 50 mm uh, sir what is a regular uh, monsoon day say in the month of july how much would it normally rain if it's a monsoon day uh, normal monsoon day in delhi is about 2 to 3 cm with right. moderate uh, slow all through day if uh, showers are continuing then it will be 2 3 uh, cm so, so you are trying to say it would rain 50 mm as opposed to uh, you know so of course uh, more than triple the amount ah uh, yes more than the more than the triple the. already delhi has received uh, much more than uh, expected till the end of july uh, right. not only delhi whole of northwest india for that matter uh, that has been the case and the heavy rain will continue uh, in uh, madhya pradesh side and hill states uh, already that uh, warning is given uh, for last 3 4 days up bihar and uh, madhya pradesh and marathwada vidarbha uh, are also uh, even bombay uh, so when we you know when we talk about uh, the situation whether it's delhi whether it's also what, what we are seeing a similar situation in the northeast as well because money um, um uh, uh, we, we had water that's been released uh, from bhutan so similar situations being seen with an orange category alert that's been sounded off for the adjoining areas when we talk about uttarakhand what kind of rainfall are we expected and will it have a trickle effect when it comes to delhi Uttarakhand heavy rains are uh, expected definitely 10 to uh, 15 cm of rain could be there in next uh, many parts of Uttarakhand in next uh, uh, up to 48 hours or so right thank you so much sir for joining us on the broadcast uh, in fact it's not just over the next two days uh, rain expected in the, the national capital over the next 5 uh, days which could hamper in uh, the relief operations which are underway these are live visuals and you can see uh, that the water level continues uh, to be high as far as various parts of delhi are concerned so uh, people there are going through 
So uh, water supply has been cut off, electricity supply has been cut off. Uh, the Delhi government has asked people to stay home, work from home. Schools and colleges have been uh, shut down till Sunday. Uh, very heavy showers expected is what the Met Office is saying. Light to moderate and like uh, KJ Ramesh, uh, the former uh, DG of the Met Office has said, when we talk about moderate rainfall, that means about 50 millimeters of rainfall in a matter of 24 hours. And Delhi is not equipped to handle that. And as it is, the situation continues to remain out of hand. Well, uh, these are visuals, live visuals coming to you from uh, this morning in uh, the national capital. Uh, roads continue to remain submerged, cars remain submerged in various parts of uh, Delhi. Uh, it is uh, on accord of the water that's been released from the Hatmi Kund Dam in Haryana. And so this is Shantivan. Uh, you can see visuals coming on your screens right now. So no relief for uh, the national capital and people in uh, Delhi. Even though the level of uh, the Yamuna has come down, it continues to stay above 206 meters. It continues to stay above the danger mark. And the worry being the kind of rainfall we are expecting in the next 48 hours.